joy, uh, let's celebrate, let's learn, and let's remember that we are all in the struggle together. Thank you very, very much. I am grateful to be here to join in this celebration to recognize that we know today that all people, black and white, came from East Africa. And we all have, are engaged in a struggle for peace and justice. And I wish us to remember particularly the men, women, and children in South Africa who struggle against apartheid, who are a part of that worldwide struggle that we are engaged in. And I'm very proud that the Detroit City Council has taken the position that we must support struggles for freedom all over the world, including in South Africa, and we must do everything possible to make sure that there are no investments and no support of the apartheid government in South Africa. And in that spirit, may we all join and all organize together to end racism all over the world. Thank you. I would like to now uh, call uh, Councilman uh, Clyde Cleveland, uh, who as a matter of fact, when I first came to Detroit, Michigan, was one of the first uh, invited guests at a housewarming that I had. Thank you very much, Brother Master of Ceremonies, to the distinguished dignitaries on the platform, my brothers and sisters in the audience. Some people have referred to America as a melting pot. I thank God that it is not a melting pot, because in a melting pot, is like a, a stew or something simmering and boiling together. America is a mosaic made up of the various nationalities, the peoples of the world who have come together to make this country what it is today, not what it should be, but better than what it was before. Let us remember during this occasion the sacrifices of all our brothers and sisters who have made it possible for us to be where we are today. May God continue to bless all of you Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, we have an honored guest uh, from Jamaica, Sharon Brown, First Secretary Ambassador uh, from Jamaica. Distinguished guests on the platform, ladies and gentlemen, I bring greetings from Jamaica, from the people and government of Jamaica. I am very happy to be here, and I hope that this will be a very successful weekend, and that the, 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 the ideas shared during this weekend and the knowledge gained will continue throughout the year. Thank you very much, and very best wishes. Thank you very much. I'd like to call uh, Senator Jackie Vaughn. Thank you very much. I think it's appropriate that we meet here for the seventh time anniversary to go over some of our accomplishment and still the goal yet to be achieved. I first want to pay tribute on behalf of the Michigan Senate all of you who have come, all of you who have come out there that help make possible for us to serve you. Secondly, I think it's appropriate for us to come together and struggle together so that we can ensure quality of life for all the American people. Thirdly, I think it's important we do this at this crucial time of our American history because there are those that will turn back the clock. And as you know what we all say, slavery any place is a slavery for all of us. So it is in that spirit the Michigan Senate would like to join forces with all of you in commending our anniversary, seventh anniversary 
and we try desperately to keep that torch alive and continue until freedom is free for all citizens, race, creed, color, national origin, or wherever they may come. And perhaps it will be the Afro-Americans who can say from that meaning uh, really what freedom is all about. Thank you very much. Let's continue to struggle together. Let's stay together so that we can enjoy the fruits of our great country. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to introduce at this time another guest, uh, Robert Chapman, who is the Council General of Liberia. Thank you very much. Ali Abdullah, distinguished members of the platform, brothers and sisters. I bring greetings from the people of Liberia. Liberia and Detroit has enjoyed a friendship for many, many years. We take great pride in being the only African country represented in the state of Michigan with a consulate. We have represented Liberia in Detroit for over 22 years. Liberia has a very large, Detroit has a very large community of Liberian citizens. In fact, we are very, very proud of the chairman of the seventh African World Festival, Mr. Arthur White who is a Liberian. Again, I bring greetings on behalf of the people of the great Republic of Liberia. Thanks very much for inviting me. Uh, we have with us also uh, Brian Conway, uh, who's representing Councilman Mel Rivets. Rivets. Thank you very much. We also have Dr. Amir Arim uh, from the UN Center Against Apartheid. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you greetings from the United Nations Center Against Apartheid. We appreciate the support of the city of Detroit for the struggle against apartheid the people of South Africa. Your brothers and sisters in South Africa are suffering from the racist regime of South Africa. And we need your help to bring to end this system of apartheid, which is considered as a crime against humanity because of its deprivation and is terrorizing the people of South Africa. Please continue in, in your support to the struggle against apartheid, and we will continue in our march till we see a new South Africa, free South Africa, where all the people enjoy equal rights. Thank you very much. I would like to also acknowledge uh, Mr. Nimley and Mr. Reeves from the Liberian Association in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, we also have uh, other guests that are on the platform, distinguished guests. We have uh, Catherine Blackwell with us. We have, would you stand please? We have uh, the uh, guests that have just arrived in Detroit, Chief Al Afulabi and his wife, uh, would you just? We have Juanita Lynch, also who's a, a very prominent uh, businesswoman in the Detroit uh, community. And I would also like to just acknowledge the staff and the hard work that was put into bringing this seventh annual African World Festival to the level that it is on at this particular time. Uh, Dr. Moore, 
who is the director of the Museum of African American History. Thank you, Ali. I'd like to say, first of all, welcome to everyone uh, to the seventh annual African World Festival. I would like to thank my staff, first of all, for all the work that they put into getting this festival off the ground and all the volunteers involved and anyone else that I have forgotten to thank at this particular moment. It took a lot of work to do this and I want to thank them now. I'd like to also give special thanks to the African community because they stuck with us every step of the way. We did it together. Special thanks to the Caribbean uh, Cultural Organization. We can clap. This is the time. Let's do it. <laughs> And before I go any further, I'd like to give a very, very special thanks to Dr. Charles Wright, who seven years ago who seven years ago had the wisdom to develop this association with the city. And ever since then, we've been seeing this wonderful affair every year. We come here from all over the world, all over the country, all over the world the diaspora to celebrate our culture. This year's title of the African World Culture is Ancestral Ties, the Unifying Link. We felt it was past time to redefine our association with our ancestors. And in relationship to this, on Sunday, and this will be announced on the plaza, we will have a special unveiling of this year's poster which was created by John Lockhart, a professor of Afro-American studies at the University of Michigan. Please check to see when this unveiling will occur on Sunday. And at this time, I would also like to thank Mr. Eugene Gilmer, who is a member of the board of the Museum of African American History, for standing by me. <laughs> I just want to say thanks to all of the persons who are in attendance today and that we hope that next year it will be bigger and better and that we will continue to indicate and to demonstrate that we are together and that we are in the best city of the wor in the world, the city of Detroit. Thank you. Lastly. I would be remiss if I did not thank Coley and Associates, the PR firm that helped promote the seventh annual, sixth annual, fifth annual perhaps, African World Festival. Thank you very much, Pat Coley. And we'd just like to say in closing, uh, we also have other brothers and sisters from the continent of Africa that have communities in Detroit. Joseph Mboum from the Cameroon, and there are some other brothers here, also uh, Kofi Igbo, who is uh, the curator at the Museum of African American History. Uh, others here who I have not gotten their names, but I welcome you here. And I would like to say that I acknowledge the fact that Dr. Charles Wright, founder and chairman of the Museum of African American History staff, festival management team, board of trustees, the support group, and individual volunteers of uh, uh, have given their time and their effort to make this a successful African World Festival. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to bring on the uh, co-chair and the chair, Akua Boudou and Arthur White. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to say thank you all for coming, and we hope that you will, we're hoping that you will enjoy this festival and do come again. We'd like to say thanks to Mary Bryson, who has been helping us all the way for, in putting this festival together. This is Akua Budu Watkins. I'd like to say just, I'm glad all of you are here. I know that you're going to enjoy this weekend. 
And the way that we were able to get this festival together is that we worked as a team, as African people. And we look forward to seeing you throughout the weekend and just enjoy. We'd like to bring on the next master of ceremonies, Mbeche Gabriel. Good evening. Welcome to 1989 African World Festival. Without much ado, we will begin the entertainment section. Before we do that, please give them a hand. Are you ready? Are you ready? Good. Before we start, theme for the year is ancestral ties, the unifying links. And that means all Africans, whether you are a European African, or whether you are an African African, or you are an American African, or you are an Asian African, you are an African. Say that, I am an African. I am an African. Africa is one. Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to bring to you Sundiata Keita and the Omawale Society. Sundiata Keita has grown up in Detroit, rendered his service in Detroit, and it will be fine to give him the honor of being the first artist tonight. We also would like to remind you that something, the spirit of Africa is coming with the Omawale Cultural Society. So if you see some still dancers, some still walkers, please, that is the spirit of Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, may I bring to you and present to you Sundiata and the Omawale Cultural Society. Give them a hand. Good evening. I'd like to ask you to bear with us just one more moment, please. Before we bring on Sumdiata Keita, I think it would be unfair to give you a little bit more background about this brother. Uh, I'd like to say good evening to everyone, especially all of our guests that are visiting from other cities and other countries. We welcome you to Detroit. Uh, most of you know of or know Sumdiata Keita personally. But for the ones who don't, I'd like to give you a brief, only brief background about this brother. In the world of African music and dance, Sumdiata Keita is one of the nation's most celebrated artists. He has performed and toured with King Sunny Ide from Nigeria. He has toured with the National Ballet of Senegal. He has recorded with Baba Tunde, and the Drums of Passion. He is also a feature with Carlos Santana, Roy Ayers, Dizzy Gillespie, Alex Zonjek, and many, many other national and international greats. Before, we, before the performance start, Sumdiada will like to pour out libation for all of our African ancestors. So again, I just want to put emphasis, we here in Detroit are very, very lucky to have this fine artist with us this evening. So again, we'd like to give thanks for each and everyone coming out and enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you Sumdiata Keita and the Amawali African Dancers. Thank you.
Almighty Yahweh, Almighty Inkulu Inkulu, all the different manifestations of the Creator. So when I say, Aja Aja, like that, you say, Emilo, let me hear you. Emilo, Aja Aja, oh Aja Aja. those who paid such a great price for us to be here today. So, as we pour this libation, it is like a spiritual prayer. We like for everyone to bow their head along with us. And as I pour the drink to the ground, when I say insa, you say insa. Let's try that. Insa. 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 I will say a brief prayer in the Yoruba language of Nigeria, West Africa and we will give a spiritual drink for our ancestors. So can we have it silent, please? Mojuba iba ashe, mojuba iba ashe, mojuba iba ashe. Iba ashe da, iba ashe da, iba ashe da ashe. Iba koda, iba koda, iba koda ashe. Iba olo dumare, iba olo dumare, iba olo dumare o ashe. Iba wone yami, mm, o sharunga yina yofin jua ye. Tin su kokan sha won, ashe, ashe, ashe. We give thanks and praise to Almighty God who is in all places at all times. We thank Almighty God for blessing us to have an African World Festival in Detroit today. And we thank the Almighty Creator for bringing all of us together. For we are God's chosen people. And we are seeking to return back to the traditions that were taken away from our ancestors. So as we pour this spiritual drink to the ground, we pray that Almighty God will bless the words that I'm coming to say. We like to pour libation for our ancestors long, long ago in the ancient land of Egypt, the land of the Pharaohs, to the great king Akhenaten, we say Ensa. When I say Ensa, everyone please, you say Ensa. To the great king, king Tutankhamun, we say Ensa. To the great queen Nefertiti, we say Ensa. To the great queen Hesheshput, we say Ensa. To the great queen Taye, we say Ensa. To the great Ramses, we say Ensa. To Ankhenaten, we say Ensa. To Amen Ra, we say Ensa. We pour libation for all of our ancestors in the homeland. Those who have enriched the African soil. To the great Jomo Kenyatta, we say Ensa. To Kwame Nkrumah, we say Ensa. To Sekou Toure, we say Ensa. To Steve Biko, we say Ensa. To Shaka Zulu, we say Ensa. To Shek Anta Jok, we say Ensa. We like to pour libation for all of our ancestors who passed during the Middle Passage, meaning on the slave ships, all of the slaves that were thrown overboard, those that were brought to America and sent around the world that were beached and they were lynched and murdered and raped and killed, those who paid the price so that you may be here in the Western Hemisphere, we like to pay homage to the spirit of the ancestors who bones rest on the Atlantic Ocean floor. Those who were thrown overboard, we say inside. We like to pour libation for all of these black slaves, the African-American slaves, that we never knew. Those who paid such a great price for us to be here, we say Ensa. To the great Marcus Garvey, we say Ensa. To the great Noble Drew Ali, we say Ensa. To the great Honorable Elijah Muhammad, we say Ensa. To the great Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, we say Ensa. To the great Malcolm X, we say Ensa. To Sojourner Truth, we say Ensa. To Harriet Tubman, we say Ensa. To Paul Robeson, we say Ensa. To all of the great freedom fighters whose names are too numeral to mention, every single one who have paid a price, and all of our mothers and fathers and grandparents who have passed on, we'd like to remember them at this moment. And as we start our festivities this evening, we pray that Almighty God will put an answer in the future of our children. You understand? We pray that the babies that are now in the womb will come back and help to enrich the African race and make us prosperous as we once were before and put us back on top of the rulership in the world. Is that fine? In almighty God's name, we say Insa, Insa, Insa. We'd like to welcome 
all of our distinguished dignitaries today with the African drum. We'd like to welcome each and every one of you because to us, you are like kings and queens. Many of you may not know who you are, but we know who you are. We know that you are African descendants. And if you are an African descendant, then you are part of a people who have given so much to the world. In the musical selection we're going to play, this is the music that has influenced jazz, disco, rock and roll, new wave, how you call it, the punk funk, the rap music, whatever. It all came from the African drums. So I don't want you to sit there looking cool as the Detroiters normally do. We want you to clap your hand, pat your feet, because this is the African World Festival. All right? We're going to take you not down home, but all the way back home to the motherland. Detroit, are you ready? Ready, ready, ready. I can't hear you. Ready. When I say, oh, say, yeah, you say, yeah, yeah, oh, say, yeah, 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 yeah. When I say, trap, 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 man, yaba, you say, yeah. Trap, 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 man, yaba, yeah. Trap, 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 man, yaba, yeah. Trap, 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 man, yaba, yeah. Man, yaba, yeah. Man, yaba, yeah. Man, yaba, yeah. Oh, say, 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 yeah. Trap, 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 man, yaba, yeah. Trap, 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 man, yaba, yeah. Trap, 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 man, yaba, yeah.
we want you to remember that this is our culture we're celebrating. So it is OK if you be African today. You don't have to worry. No one's going to harass you at the African festival. Let me hear those hands. Uh, uh, uh. We're going to sing a song to bring on our beautiful dancers. In this song, we say, no matter how long the night, the day is sure to come. No matter how long they keep the black people down, the African American people, the day is sure to come when you're going to rise up. Is that right? And you're going to do something to show the whole world that you are free and able to govern yourselves again. So, when I say, Jingo, Jingo Ba. Can you say that? Jingo, Jingo Ba. Let me hear every voice here today. Let me hear you. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, our time is very, very short with you this evening, but we like to do at least one traditional dance. We do this dance every African World Festival. Maybe it's been done 1,000 times already, but that is what makes it tradition. This dance, the dancers are greeting you with scarves in their hand. They're greeting with you with open hands. They're greeting you with open hearts. From the blessings that come from Almighty God, from the blessings that come from the earth, they welcome you. This is from Liberia, West Africa. Liberia is a colony that many of the African American slaves went back to and they founded their own country. So this is in honor of your own very great ancestors. This is what we call Fanga, the dance of welcome. We're singing a song from Ghana saying everyone must continually strive to be happy. And following that, we're going to do a hand clap and each dance is going to do a dance for you. African dance, you can read it like you can read a book. So we want you to listen to what they're saying to you in the dance language. Everyone turn your hands over like that. Ah, 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 especially the little children. Come on, let me see you. Ah, 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 ah. Everyone say, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, let me hear you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah
Nigeria. Eh. Ha. Senegal. Cameroon. You see, we have a wonderful culture and we celebrate it and dance. Let's hear it for our beautiful African queens. When you teach a man, you teach an individual. When you teach a woman, you teach an entire nation. So, yes, we're gonna give some praise to our queens because we love them. And we would not trade our beautiful African women in for nobody, you understand? Nobody. In our culture, we like to let the women speak. So, our sister have a very profound message for you today, by the way of poetry, by the way of prose. Let's give a hand for Sister Talata. BDP, peace to you. Minister Farrakhan and Reverend Jackson, peace to you, yo, African crew. From the king to you, payback is due. 40 acres and a mule. Promise to all of the slaves in the land of the free, how can this be? World see that the microphone is my dynasty. I'm ordained to entertain King C's the name, and I'm down for my crown in the rapping game. See, before my rule, it was the same old fool, so not a hip hop teacher's gonna take you to school. I come from the motherland, Africa, and my soul, my brother man, screams after her. See, for 400 years of blood, sweat, and tears, and the cries of my people bitten hurt in my ears. My people need land, money, milk, and bread, and not a sucker MC rapping in their heads. It's just a puppet on the string, but look at the king. See, I'm all about being the message I bring. We must have a Concept revolution, or we die by the lies and produce pollution. Freedom ain't free. Listen to me. If you don't, a sucker slave is all you be. But if you want to be free, you got to pay the price. Because your freedom one day might cost your life. But don't you never let me make this plain. Never sacrifice your freedom just because of pain. Don't ask to be free and don't beg or plead. Got to fight for your freedom. Let the blood be. Because the blood of the lamb purifies the soul. And the world's destiny is in your control. So-called Negroes understand. You're not a Negro, you're an African. You're not a Negro, you're an African. You're not a Negro, you're an African. You once were great and shall be again. The mighty kings and queens of the world, my friends. So stand up, my people, for your human right. And if it calls for fighting, then we will fight. Because the struggle goes on and on and on. And that's the reason why we got to be strong. Because united we stood, but divided we fell. Now the kings of the world are living in hell. Where the strong stand tall, the weak must fall. And now it's time for y'all to all Oh, he's a call. Let's hear it for Cool King C. Everyone stand up, come on. Stand up. Stand up, please, stand up. I laugh.
energy in what we just performed. Are you with it? You know, there is so much energy in what we just performed and saw and worked with, till if we could just think of the energy that went into it and keep it together all the time, there is no telling what we could do to clean up our own streets. So let's work together and let's do that. I want to present an award of recognition to the African World Festival today, August 18th, to last through the 20th at Hart Plaza. It's signed by all of my colleagues and it's awarded with the golden seal of the city. And we present it to you now for the excellence in which you have performed to bring to us a sense of our own well-being springing out of our own ancestry. Now we are feeling that we came from somewhere. Therefore, we are surely going somewhere. God bless you. Um, we're demonstrating Adire Aleko and Adire Aleso. The Adire Aleko is with little seeds like she has in this one here. And then we have Batik down here, which is Adire Aleko. And then we have a Dinkra stamping from Ghana down there. So people are seeing three different processes of dye. And we're trying to do it as uh, natural as possible and traditional, so we're using rocks to hold up sections. Although we're using rubber bands instead of raffia, it's too hard to find here. So traditional technique. Pieces back here that people have done.
you hear a Jamaican say forward, come again? This is what we mean by forward, come again. Let's live. 